let me give you one more scripture this one we are going to pray because there are some of you you can't wait again till December no the Bible said this is the day not this is the week not this is the month there are days there are weeks there are months there are years whichever one your faith defines is what becomes your reality if your faith is for years save Johnny if your faith is for months save Johnny he said give us this day give us when one more time so God can give men this day there are times they will say after five months on the sixth month of the seventh year the word of the Lord came but Jesus himself said when you pray remind the father that is within his power to give you this day give me this this day give me liftings this day open a door for me this day are you ready to pray Joshua chapter 21 and verse 45 give us amplified we are still praying don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you he said I'm charging your faith as we get into this place of prayer I know him my God is able to do just what he says he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you John Joshua 21 45 read with me ready one to read there failed no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel all came to pass how many how many are you ready to pray say father I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word that is upon my life open your mouth and cry I declare speedy manifestation of every prophetic word I declare someone pray I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word Speedy manifestation. Speedy manifestation. You have spoken. Let it come to pass. Today, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now. Let it come to pass now. Let it come to pass now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My God, I'm tempted to give you the next one. Just endure. Let me give you the next one. Huh? Are you ready for the next one? John 14, 11. I have to give you the next one. This is why you came. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if that revelation is what cannot make you believe, he said, believe me for the sake of the results. 
believe me for the work's sake results can make men believe god and believe you did you hear what i said results can make men believe god and believe you we read john 15 8 earlier on hearing is my father glorified when ye bear much fruit not just fruit much fruit great results john 15 16 you have not chosen me but i have chosen you and ordained you hallelujah ordained you to go and bear fruit 15 16 and that your fruit should remain let me tell you the truth do not downplay results in this life i know that you are here because you love jesus but you are also here because you have seen results results at the end of any and every argument you can argue all you can but not in the presence of results hallelujah what is the prayer father give evidence to my christian experience did you hear what i said give evidence i'm tired of running around telling people i'm a christian i'm tired of telling people i love you without proof i'm tired of telling people i'm serving you without proof i'm tired of telling people that i'm living for you father give evidence to my christian experience give evidence to my loving you give evidence to my serving you give evidence to my trusting you are you ready say father in this season, in this season give, evidence give evidence to my christian experience, my christian experience. Results. results genuine results result. open your mouth and pray bring me into a realm of authentic results give evidence give evidence are you praying? All the overflows pray. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my live my living for you. Abraska barakatos, Rataka barakata, Fraska barakatos. Pray, pray. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Do you know why? We minister deliverance to people i don't have the time but perhaps next week i will teach you something very powerful you see the major challenge with believers in the body of christ is we do not know that for results to happen in the earth please listen there are three things three conditions that need to be satisfied number one is called the finished work of christ that reality has been settled in Christ. Number two is the effective appropriation of that which is finished in Christ. Engaging it through faith. Are we together? And then number three, the results manifest. The major challenge with believers is that we think just because realities are finished in Christ, it automatically means the earth eternally has an instruction to give crops and yet there is still hunger on earth why 
because that prophetic word there has to be an appropriation system the name of the appropriation system is sowing every time you sow you are partnering with prophecy it is prophetic instruction to the earth plus the farmer's responsibility that is equal harvest am i right on that you even in a desert the land was still instructed to produce under a certain kind of condition that is why in israel a desert land they have food for the next 15 years in a desert land so you read in scriptures by his stripes i am healed that is a prophetic reality from god's standpoint you read from scripture no inhabitant in zion shall say i am sick the bible would teach us that we have been called out of every tribe and tongue and nation these things are not a lie they are realities as finished in christ but you must understand the appropriation system of the spirit that means the system of converting prophecy to make it manifest the bible says the word became flesh the word became flesh the healing word became flesh the prospering word became flesh the lifting word became flesh then it dwelt among men it is only when it became flesh that it dwelt among men and we beheld his glory we couldn't see the glory when it was in the realm of the spirit the bible says from the foundations of the earth the lamb was already slain but that reality could not save any man people still died and went to hades until jesus came in reality and partnered with prophecy he says lo i come as it is written in the volume of the book are we together when he partnered with prophecy and actually died like the prophet said he would die it was that experience in partnership with prophecy that produced redemption so when we minister deliverance and you see people who came believing in god manifesting and god is releasing people it is not negating what christ has done it is en engaging the appropriation system the reason why the demons will leave is because victory has been wrought already in christ i have taught you that the concept of deliverance and warfare for the believer is not engaging to see who wins is enforcing the victory that is finished already but making it manifest here and now the fact that believers still get sick should tell you that it is possible for an individual to still be under an influence of demons because the same package is what delivered everything it delivered victory over sin victory over sickness victory over satan victory over the grave victory over a defeated life they all came in one package the fact that believers can still be poor and yet you are not ashamed you will teach you principles and you will rise a believer can be sick and he can be ministered to supernaturally or medically you should not be surprised that a believer may not be possessed but can be greatly influenced by spirits and i've taught you here that there are three conditions by which spirits engage the saints one is called disobedience two is called ignorance three is called covenants and covenants are transgenerational in their approach that means you don't have to be there and agree when it was enacted but you will still be a victim who sinned that this man was born blind him or his father this is Jesus' student asking him a question today in israel because they are the physical descent of abraham there are many of them that do not acknowledge jesus as messiah yet they still prosper because he said in thy in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed and they came out as a physical descent of abraham yet in their rebellion they would look at god and curse him to his face yet because he cannot act against his word they remain a people blessed and blessed forever these are rules of engagement you need to understand so don't sit down saying I, I i don't believe i can't you are seeing the result evidences of satanic manipulations it is not negating your christian experience you are partnering with prophecy to establish it so that once and for all there is victory when victory manifests everything will show that you are a winner medicine will show you are a winner your bank account will show you are a winner are we together now 
I want to pray for you. For as long as I live, I become by the grace of God an agent of appropriating that which is finished in Christ. That for the sake of one person here who has been oppressed by spirits, can I tell you this? In this walk you see, by the privilege of God's grace, I have seen all kinds of oppressions in the life of people. I can tell you firsthand, many of you here, ladies and gentlemen, you are standing here not just for yourself, but you are standing for your families. I've seen people who left and went abroad, but because they did not settle these things with understanding and engaging by faith, they remain like beggars abroad. They would give them a job and mysteriously the person would say, I don't like you. You would think it's just some racist thing, but even if you come back home, it's still the same thing. How about families where women are the men and men are the women? You've seen those kinds of families? And they can be genuine Christians, but men in those families never feed their wives. They only marry to be beggars and remain beggars. You will see a woman paying school fees, building the house, doing everything, and the man is there. He will sincerely carry his CV till his children become teenagers. He's not gotten one job after graduation. I told you, even Satan, it's not everybody that hates him. Hallelujah. There are people who never hold money and it stays in their hand. There is a spirit and a curse upon the works of their hands. Give them one billion, they will be smiling. Ask them after one year, where did it go to? They will say, something happened. I borrowed this one, he ran away. This one happened and all of that come on now there are people who don't experience delay but they experience what we call um their pace with respect to time is too slow they build one house in 10 years they use 10 years to finish school are we together now 10 years to finish school the child goes to school and he will repeat one class five times even though it's an intelligent it's a course it's a course a curse from the pit of hell i tell you there are people who build but never eat just when they're about to eat they die or something happens to them i have seen it many times that includes pastors they raise people the moment the people are established and it's the time to bless them something mysteriously happens and takes them out of their life I've seen business people like that. There are people here who are part of the rising of many people. But till today, they are still paupers and beggars. Spirits for you. Hallelujah. Do you believe what you're hearing? I've seen people like that. Beautiful lady. Wonderful lady. But the day a gentleman looks at you and says, I want to go and see your father. That gentleman will lose his job in one week, lose his sanity, lose every opportunity. And they'll just tell him, run away from this family. There's a spirit in this family. You see, this is what sometimes the prophetic ministry erroneously interprets as men and women being witches and wizards. They may not be witches and wizards, but for sure, there are spiritual operations within those families that with intelligence, they need to be delivered from. Hallelujah. I know people as a man of God. I desire to bless them. I remember looking at them and said, I will bless them mysteriously in a way I cannot understand. I'm not that forgetful, but I forgot to bless them. Me, oh, a man of God. And the person is saying, what kind of spirit is this? What is pursuing you determines how you run. Hello? Hmm? It's not the same thing that is pursuing everybody, oh. And others who they've paid the price for you some you are the first person to rise in your family there is no mention of the word honor or dignity in your family there's no such thing now not to get you please don't feel offended but there are people in families who never marry until they get pregnant outside that's the condition for as long as you say i want to get married first no that spirit will not let you be I know people who spend 15 years abroad and return back to Nigeria and even the key to a car they could not have. They called all their classmates and their classmates are now exalted and they are not comparison. What is it that stops the glory of God from manifesting? How about families that always kill 
those who become the lifters in those families have you seen it happen that just when someone just i just got a job i just got an opportunity my stomach my head and the person is dead i came angry tonight in my spirit because someone i by the privilege of god's grace sir i've had the honor of taking care of a lot of families i have seen 25 year old widows with four five children how long did the man live before dying absolutely nothing and they leave those people 25 28 four five children hallelujah how about your destiny helpers forgetting you you watch them on tv making pledges to people and yet you say uncle just to remind you that i'm still here say, okay you i will remember immediately once it is your own they forget are you ready for the book of remembrance to be open just when they are dropping your cv on a man's table someone will come and use your cv to wrap food with it they are considering yours they say please pass me a piece of paper and it's your cv they carry and wrap food with it and you sit down and you are shouting thinking your cv is in the office whereas it's in the bin somewhere he said the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous do you know why he said lest he dips his hand in iniquity i've seen people who love god they are not lazy but they live their lives begging they never get to a point where they can live a decent life no they beg their wives join them begging their children join them begging their grandchildren join them begging their entire lineage lives by begging shout no way one more time shout no way whatever you permit whatever you tolerate remains in your life I'm saying this because everything that is not of God it must let you go now there are there are families where the parents and the elderly people remain but the children die leaving the parents you see a family full of old people with no young man to help them he said I write these things to you fathers I write these things to you young men I write these things to you children this is what makes a complete generation there must be elders there must be young men there must be children no generation is safe without elders no generation is safe without young men no generation is safe without children when satan wants to suspend continuity he looks for one of these three if he kills the elders the young men will become foolish young men because no counsel when he kills the young men there will be no continuity because the elders will pass on one day and the children will not have a way to be trained well when he kills the children you will now see the spirit that was in pharaoh and he was negotiating the exodus of god's people let some go and let some stay and moses said you are joking all of us our wives our children in this place tonight there are elders in this place tonight there are young men in this place tonight there are children in fact in this place tonight there are babies our commission tonight is everybody must be free there is nobody that is too young to be free and there is nobody that is too old to be delivered in one minute i like you to pray every first time down my destiny you must let me go now 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 in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now very quickly i'm about to minister the deliverance power of jesus in the next few minutes we'll watch the wonder working power of jesus but just quickly i like us to honor he came in while i was teaching i didn't want to interrupt the teaching reverend edward let's bless him house on the rock enugu thank you so much sir hallelujah and then um where is she i i forgot to introduce her 
the wife of the um, German ambassador to Egypt. She here? God bless you. Let's give her a big God bless you. Thank you. So good to see you. Hallelujah. Amen. Please be silent, everybody. If you are sitting, stand. If you are sitting, stand. Prophetic instructions are powerful because contained within them, as foolish as they may sound, is the power of God. I want you to please stand. Ushers, I want you to start bringing out the people who the power of God rests upon. I'm ministering deliverance now. What is deliverance? Separating you from the spirits that plague you. Separating you from the conditions also. Not just spirits. Usually I will ask you to shout and you will shout. But God is telling me, be still and know. This is why I said just stand and keep quiet. Bring them out. You see, the way God walks is very mysterious. Sometimes it may not make sense. Yes. There are individuals and families right now. It's the fire of the spirit. Fishing out families whose destinies have been tied down. Yokes, curses, altars. Please bring them out. No, you will not be able to stand it. You don't know what grace you are under. Please bring them as quick as you can. All the overflows outside. Hmm. These things happen so that you will fear God in a way that God is not a man. If God can say a thing like this and do it, then you will believe every prophetic word he brings on you. Please help the ushers. If they are limited, anyone close to them, let's just save time. There's a reason why I ask that you bring the people out. You're not shouting, you're not doing anything. You've done the prayer, now I'm praying for you. Mm. Yokes. Altars. I'm seeing fire like, like smoke rising. Rising from things that look like stones. The Lord is showing me a dark shadow. Shadow that has rested on families. Some for decades. And the Lord is saying this is the shadow that has covered the glory of many families. And the Lord is lifting it right now. He's lifting it right now. Bring them out. Lifting it right now. Yeah. Lifting it right now. Please bring them. Now I'm seeing chains tying the feet of people. Feet means your movement. The Lord is taking away delay. I'm seeing delay. I'm seeing the number 25. Families, please bring them out. Delay. The spirit of delay that has tied down destinies. Bring them out. Da 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 want to pray very quickly you are still bringing a few more people out now I'm seeing 
something tied around the stomachs of people and i'm wondering what is this is what what the meaning of this is and the spirit of god is telling me that this is enchantment this is witchcraft over many it came through dreams and it has tied down many this thing started from your dream and then tied your destiny down from seeing yourself in secondary school to writing exams that never finish to things holding your destiny down right now be released be released bring them out be released be released by the power that raised christ from the dead by the power that raised christ from the dead by the power that raised christ from the dead now hear me every family under any cause cause of untimely death cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough now you are going to shout jesus with that one loud shout those altars must give way now are you ready one two three shout jesus be released be released be released be released your family be released your business be released your destiny be released everything that concerns you hallelujah what has buried the name of your family the statement Ichabod, that it cannot even be heard again a family that was once great known for greatness but it looks like the devil has sat on your destiny i'm talking to three people by the spirit in the name of jesus right now by the fire of the holy ghost i declare may that fail may that fail be torn right now over your family may that fail be torn right now over your family may that fail be torn right now every month you must treat sickness mysterious sicknesses eating up your finances eating up your energy your vitality i don't know who i'm speaking to but by the power that raised christ from the dead that demonic authorization over your body is cancelled now cancelled now the lord is showing me a woman you've not been able to meet your husband abroad because they've denied you visa i don't know if there's such a person i've prayed for a number of people with those cases but the lord is speaking to me about one you've not been able to go and meet your husband you are legally married but you are unable to go and meet your husband because you've been denied again and again and this has caused a lot of tension in your home wherever you are by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name that is above all names we consult the greatest consular general and we declare by the spirit of the living god that this time around may favor speak for you may favor speak for you may favor speak for you i'm seeing someone here your brother currently has been kidnapped your brother you are aware he's been kidnapped you are trusting god for his release i don't know if that person is in this place else i'm going to speak your brother this is what god shows me in a vision is part of those that were kidnapped until now he's not been released in the name of jesus i use this vision as a point of contact to everyone who has been kidnapped by wicked men by the power that raised christ from the dead this week not next week this week in the name that is above all names we declare their release now we declare their release now we declare their release now for everyone who is in front here brought by the spirit of god i decree and declare every spirit that has held you down god brought you by himself right now be released right now be released 
I decree and declare that as you rise, you step into a range, a, a level of strange testimonies. Strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Return back to your seat rejoicing. How many of you are trusting God for supernatural jobs? Just lift your hands and put it down. Let me see. If you don't believe, keep your hand down. You are trusting God that God between now and March, that God can open a strange door. Let me see your hands. I want to pray for you. The prophetic is very powerful. And that includes those from several nations. You've heard testimonies. You can stand for your brother. You can stand for your son. You can stand for your daughter. You can stand for your spouse. I decree and declare. I don't know who is trusting God for a job. For you, for your family. Or a change of job. Because some of you, what you are doing is not really a job. Anything that steals your spiritual life, destroys your health, causes enemies and multiplies your sorrow is not from God. Therefore, I decree between now and the next one month in the name that is above all names and by the power of prophecy from the east to the west, the north to the south, Nigeria and beyond, may God give you a strange testimony. May my God give you a strange testimony. hallelujah hallelujah i feel stirred in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside the overflow outside please lift your hands i want to pray for you i'm praying for everybody everybody can tap but i just sense in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside outside media if you can help me let me speak over the overflow outside those outside i want you to lift your hands i don't know why god is asking me to speak Perhaps it is to connect with you to let you know that distance is no barrier. And it doesn't matter up basement, all the other overflows, you can connect by faith. But I'm speaking particularly to those outside. Lift your hands. Those outside, I want to pray for you. And I want you to believe by the faith of the Son of the living God that what God will do in your life will surprise you beyond your imagination. <laughs> Father, in the name that is above all names, I pray for my people outside. Lift your hands and believe. This is not entertainment. Believe. Believe. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He said, believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. I pray for you. Everything that will make you laugh and celebrate between the next two weeks, whatever it is, by all godly means, I declare, may it happen for you. Everything that will make you celebrate. Ah, Sarah said, all who hear this will rejoice with me. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Between now and the next two weeks, those outside, but it applies to everybody. Whatever God must do to make you laugh, I declare may it happen speedily. Speedily. If it's a job, may it happen speedily. If it's your visa, may it happen speedily. If it's your house, may it happen speedily. The Bible says, despise not prophesyings. Despise not prophesyings. Still keep them. I'm speaking to them. I'm speaking to them. Why God is putting it in my heart to speak to them? I'm speaking to those outside. Sometimes God moves like this to comfort us. To help us see and know that distance is no barrier. Media, are you helping me? In the name that is above all names. The oil of favor. The oil of favor. That can come upon a man's head. That can come upon a man's hand. That can come upon his feet. And rewrite his story. I stretch my hands first from outside and then to all connecting and to those connecting across the globe in the name of jesus listen i tell you with all humility and with every sense of regard to you and to god i know what favor is i know how it works i have seen what the favor of god can do this ministry is evidence that god's favor can rest upon a man it is such as i have in the name of jesus 
to those outside and whoever is tired of struggling moving from pillar to post and things are not working in ministry in finances i pray for you receive the oil of favor 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 everyone shout this after me say father every curse every enchantment every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny let it be destroyed now open your mouth in one minute and pray every enchantment every curse orchestrated against my life against my advancement against my health against my prosperity by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken be broken be broken in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now everyone please listen to me thank you for your patience and your endurance but I want to show you something every demonic oppression upon the saints depends on a certain kind of belief system no matter what kind of spirit is sent to you that spirit is helpless until a certain belief system is formed in you it is the union of that spirit and your belief system that equals your tragedy did you hear what i said satan is as powerful in your life as the limitation of your belief system so the primary assignment of spirit is not to oppress is to first manipulate your understanding or build a garrison around your wrong belief system so that regardless what truth comes for your liberation you do not sustain the intelligence to understand it there is no spirit that is not at the mercy of your belief system even god as mighty as he is is limited by your belief system he said let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus he says they limited him in the wilderness they limited the holy one in the wilderness how do you limit the limitless god i want to show you something powerful send any kind of spirit spirit of death spirit of delay spirit of retrogression untimely death poverty all those spirits will come and mark time at the gate of your mind there is a certain mental component that empowers their entry or keeps them forever did you hear what i said so the bible says no weapon fashioned i used to think the weapons are the arrows that fly by day these weapons are mindsets they are fashioned based on your weaknesses so satan brings your background brings your failure brings poor or ill mentorship and uses it to fashion a weapon that weapon becomes the access point for spirits so no matter the kind of deliverance you go through once that software that faulty thinking is still there that deliverance session was only a waste of time because all he needs to do is to touch any triggers in your life and it will make you open the door through your belief system anger jealousy lust pain wrong memory fear all of them are triggers and any one of them can bring you back to that mold and the spirit will find its way again so complete deliverance is not just casting out demon spirits are we together but a reorientation through the teaching ministry that now gives you a superior understanding a mindset that is always superior that way you close the door permanently over those spirits in fact in order of spiritual priority 
I rather teach you the truth that to minister deliverance for you because once that mindset is altered the spirit itself becomes unconducive the bible says when spirits leave men they go through deserts and from the desert there was nobody to cast them by themselves they left the desert and came back to the man light how forcible are right words they can force spirits out and force prophecies in this will be your final prayer are you ready to pray once you pray, I'll just speak over this. Um, make sure immediately we're done praying or whilst we're praying, please bring out your prayer request, everybody. And for those who have not written your prayer request, let me give you a minute. We write prayer requests here as an act of faith. If you care, please write. Maybe sit for a moment. I'll allow you to pray while you are sitting so you can write. That you are sitting doesn't mean you will not pray. You will pray. So just, it's not a license. Men ought always to pray. Let me give you a minute to write.